Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another weekly edition of Into the Void. This is a 2v2 versus Willow, Lion X, Jay, and Roy King on Infestation. In the left side of Infestation, we have Team Easy Peasy. It is Willow, the red Protoss player, and Lion X, the blue Terran player. And on the right side of Infestation, we have the purple Protoss player, Roy King. And the light blue teal type Terran player, it is Jay. So we're going to call this Team Easy Peasy. Do names not work? I don't know if names work here. I don't think they do up top right. Anyway, this was sent to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Into the Void as a bronze or a silver league game. My screeners that took a look at it said this one is the best one this week. It gave it to me and I'm casting it for you today. If you'd like to send one, go ahead and send it to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Into the Void, and everybody will be happy. Screeners have some fun things to watch. I have some fun things to cast, and you submitted a replay to Falcon Paladin with the chance, with the chance that you might actually see it on the channel. All right, so this is a PBT versus a PBT. Uh, actually, no. PT versus PT. That makes more sense. <laughs> Teams are not playing against each other here, surprisingly. So this is Infestation. I played on this map a couple times in 2v2s, and I'm trying to remember if there are rocks you have to knock down, or... There's not a... Nope, trying to scout here exactly. You have to either knock those rocks down. Now there are, uh, let's see, backdoor rocks for everyone? How does this work again? So that's a free path. That's a free path. Yeah, so rocks here and rocks here. So you cannot physically rush your opponent on the ground very easily to knock down these rocks in order to get through. So you can walk down here, but to get into your opponent's base, either you kill these rocks or you kill these rocks. That's how this works. All right, so actually choosing to expand instead here is a Roy King, our purple Protoss player. I love the purple. Purple is such a nice color for Protoss. And it's a PP thing, too. It's got the alliteration going on. So again, you can't really see standard 2v2 play here. If you go for a lot of Marines, it just takes too long to get through the rocks. It notifies your opponent of what you're doing, which is not a good feeling either here. Cybernetic score on the way. And yeah, you'll notice that neither player is really producing a whole lot. There are a couple expansions coming here. Both Protoss players are expanding. Terran actually doing similar things, going for a double racks opening. And an engineering bay here, and a factory instead for Team J. I just call this Team J. It's easier than Team Roy King, I think. So Team Easy Peasy and Team J on the right here. Both of these Terrans are a little bit blue, which is going to get confusing. But the red and purple is a fairly good contrast, so we'll have to pay attention to how that works out. Expansion coming up here for Lion X. <clears throat> Before his opponent, Terran player, Jay seems to be very content to hang out, do his thing. If we click on the players, we can see how they're spending their money, at least, and what their supply is. But I can't get that to stay up forever. Need to talk to my interface guy about this 2v2 stuff. Marines are heading out more in of a defensive position. And what I'd like to see in 2v2s is actually putting up a defensive structure or a building like a pylon over here or a supply depot on both sets of rocks just so you can know if your opponent knocks down the rocks and they're coming for you because or if they're starting to whittle down the rocks you can also see that too. But at this point nobody's really planning on doing that. APM is pretty low under 100 for both players for all players here. It looks like J is at 29. Which, not ideal, but again, at this level, APM is not everything. You make good decisions, you make good macro and micro decisions. Macro decisions more than micro, I think you're going to be okay. There's the air. There's the air from Willow. Going to head out with an Oracle and try to kill some stuff. Any anti-air? There are some Marines. Not enough to actually kill an Oracle, though. What do you have? Hey, Roy King. What you got there, friend? A Zealot. A Zealot. His opponent, Protoss, only has a Stalker and an Oracle, so it's not like either Protoss player is really killing it right now. But hey, here comes the Oracle, sneaking on in, trying to see how much stuff it can kill. And the answer is all of the probes. All the probes are going to die. Check this out. Probe 1, probe 2, probe 3, probe 4, probe 5, 6. The Marines are trying to come here, but I don't think it's enough to actually kill this Oracle. But it's enough to chase away the Oracle. I don't know how familiar with the situation is, is Willow. See, this is Willow. And oh, oh, threw up the ability with only one energy left. Not able to kill anything there, but 8 kills is not bad. Not bad at all. Trying to hang out here, regenerate some shields, but can the Marines hit it from that position? They're going to try to. They're going to try to get it, and yes, they can hit it, forcing it away from the edge. A little bit farther away into more safe territory. How much does it cost to activate? 25? Yep, 25 to activate the Pulsar Beam. Drains 2 energy per, per second. So you actually have to have more than 25 to actually use it, as it's a channeled ability too. You can activate it at 25, but then you don't have energy left over to actually kill stuff. Um, 
So yeah, definitely want to save up more than 25 before attacking with that unit. Way, way up here though. Way, way hiding up there. How are we doing on worker count? If we take a look, uh, 27 harvesters for our blue Terran. 33, so a total of 50 something. Oracle sneaks in here again and boop, gets a few kills up to 14 now. 25 versus 23. So yeah, about 40, mm, 49 or so. It looks like our team easy peasy definitely in the lead to this point and they are a team because they're both on the clan easy peasy with a, like a scary what is that a scary arbiter face what is that thing it looks like what does it look like it looks so familiar uh it's some kind of a but the helmet looks protoss too it's like a protoss ghost or a ghoul creepy stuff man gonna give me nightmares both players decide to knock down the rocks at the exact same time which is a little bit hilarious and I think Lion X should be noticing these are dying a lot faster than just his Marines taking them on down. Um, are you going to finish the job, Jay? Jay? Are you? No. Oh, the high ground attack. I don't know if Lion X knows it's there. He does. He gets concussive shell, but he's still alive. The rocks are finally going to fall. They do. Jay takes it on down. That army is looking pretty darn scary, but a pretty good army back here for Lion X too. Any upgrades? No. No upgrades at all for that team. Are there engineering bays for this team? Yes. Any upgrades have started? No. So engineering bay was built. I don't see any missile turrets. I don't see any upgrades. So if you're going to make an engineering bay and invest those minerals in the early game, I recommend you actually do things with them. Get upgrades. Get missile turrets. It never hurts. Phoenix catching these medevacs before they can actually drop their precious cargo. And one medevac dies with a bunch of units on the inside. And the Phoenix should be able to take down every single one of these medevacs. Might as well. The Marines are not really paying attention to them. Now they are. They're kind of starting to, but all the medevacs do end up dead. These guys are stranded and no more healing is available. The Oracle is going to come in and try to save the day. Pulsar being being used and yes. No, but the Marines take it out. There are too many on the ground here. Trying to lift and kill here too is a nice job, but not pulling these SCVs at all. That is a huge mistake. You definitely want to pull SCVs if you're under attack like this. And we're looking at the uh, units lost tab here. No, we can't see individual units lost, but Lion X is down to 21 harvesters. Had about 29 previously about 30 another attempt here but void ray is a lot better against phoenix run run phoenix run for your lives ah, yeah you, the range is just a lot more on the void ray not going to work out for you very well at all they're trying though they're trying to make this thing happen but keep losing void rays every or phoenix every time they sneak on in again the missile turrets in the situation would be so so useful oh no bringing back the scvs oh getting absolutely massacred here by the void rays again not pulling if your worker line is under attack like this, just run them away. I know it loses mining time, but it's much, much better than just leaving them to die like this. And here comes a big marine counterattack from Lion X. He says, I'm tired of being passive. I am tired of getting shot in the face. I'm going to go up and try to kill your stuff. But there's a tank. It's not in siege mode. Not in siege mode. Marines versus marauders and a void ray up in the air too. Doesn't like the casualties he's taking. Lion X is going to back on out. The Phoenix chasing away these void rays, choosing not to turn around and defend themselves. Is he going to lose another one there? Yep, losing another one. There's a turn. There's the defend, though. And they do get chased away. A little bit more aggressive here is Lion X. Phoenix flying on back home. In the production tab, we see pretty much Marines, Marauders, the standard stuff out of our Terran teams. Uh, Team Red here, Willow, is doing absolutely nothing to this point. How much money does he have? 700 and 300. There we go. Pylons, probes coming up here, too. Both players are a little bit scared after the recent attacks. Not looking good at all. Resources lost. We don't get a resources lost. We have a supply count here. And nobody's really ahead of anybody else. Willow is up 84 supply out of 94 versus 54, 62, and 52. So Willow's looking good. Is Willow going to go for carriers possibly? Really a lot of Phoenix though. Which you don't see a whole lot of Phoenix. Well, I don't know. Phoenix I guess is pretty good against PT. Uh, you can lift units, you can kill medevacs, you can kill void rays, sort of. Pretty much a good harassing unit, but at this level, Phoenix, it takes a lot of micro to make them super efficient. And at this level, you just don't see that kind of micro. So, as we can tell by the number of Phoenix that have died in this game. Oh, I wish I could check that. I really do. I really do. But you know what? He's got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 Phoenix remaining. They have upgrades. Nope, upgrades are on the way, though. Protoss air weapons level 1 coming up. Combat shield coming up for J. Nicely done, Jay, getting that that their upgrade advantage. Trying to sneak on in and using the Graviton Beam to lift up these workers and kill them again. Once again, Roy King is the one not lifting, not retreating here. He does, he does retreat. A little bit of a slow reaction, but that's A-OK. -okay. Phoenix running for their lives at the Void Rays. That is the correct choice. Void Rays really good. Really good here, but killing more and more workers here. Roy King is down to 25. 
And is this enough Phoenix to actually take down those Voiders? I think it might be if they stopped dancing and just kind of stood still for a minute. But they keep dancing out of range and taking huge amounts of damage. Another drop here from Jay. Again, players at this level are not bad. They're not dumb. They uh, they know what they're doing as evidenced by this drop. Nicely done. There's the Stim too. Plus one attack is finished for Jay. And the Nexus dies almost immediately with the focused attack there. Going after Pylons. Pylons completely dead. Are there any Mothership Cords at all for these Protoss players? Yes, one Mothership Core is available. Oh, there it is. Flies right on in, but unfortunately no pylons to overcharge. But the Marines are going to help on out here. All the Protoss ground forces are gone, but the Marines clean on up. Whew, that's a lot of Marines here. A tank comes in at the wrong time for Jay. Gets absolutely melted. Jay pinging, saying, I was supposed to have the tank back here in defense, but I did not. Two more Stargates coming up here for our friend Roy King. Is that Roy King? It is Roy King. He is trying to get Gravitic Drive, upgrading the movement speed of Warp Prisms, and extended Thermal Lands for Colossus. Does he have any Colossus? No, he does not. So upgrading Colossus, I hope he's planning on getting those eventually, because getting an upgrade for them and not actually making them seems like kind of a waste of a nice upgrade, if you were to ask me. I don't, I'm not Protoss, I don't main Protoss, but I, I, I commentate them on YouTube. Fleet Beacon is getting the N9 on Pulse Crystals. Increases the Phoenix attack range by two. Super useful against those Void Rays. I like that choice here from Willow. And uh, the Phoenix just continue to mount their aggression. What is going on? This is so many Phoenix. So many Phoenix. Plus one attack. 11 versus Light times two. Woo! Another group of probes getting absolutely massacred here. The Marines are trying to chase them down. Run! Run! Marines are scary. Marines are scary right now. A Stalker tries to walk on in, but just gets melted by the tank and the Void Ray. So I guess it got a Scout off, which is good. The Void Ray, boo, one does end up getting killed here. I wish I could tell how many Phoenix have died so far, because it seems like it would be a lot. It really seems like that number is going to be high. Is anybody doing anything super fun in the production tab? Vikings coming up, I like that. Vikings against Phoenix, pretty darn good with that range especially. SCB comes in to throw down a Missile Turret first before an expansion. I like that decision. Having some static defense has never hurt anybody, especially at this level, where it's really hard for you to notice when your workers are under attack, throwing down some static defense, a cannon, a missile turret, a spore crawler can be very useful. Finally, putting these probes to work nicely done. Roy Kang did not leave those, Roy Kang did not leave those probes unworking for too long. There's actually an icon that shows up with you have your idle workers and shows you what probes, SCVs, and drones are not actually doing anything. So make sure to look at that from time to time and see if you have some workers just hanging out and being lazy so you can get them and whip them back into shape. Four Voidways in production at the same time for Roy King. Really going mass Voidray, which again is a pretty solid strategy at the lower levels. They can attack air, they can attack ground, they have this prismatic alignment option that realigns the Voidray's prismatic beam to gain plus six damage versus armored units for 14 seconds. Getting that extra damage versus armored is incredible. No missile turrets here. Run. Good reaction time by Jay though. Hey! Look at that! Getting most of his SCVs out there before they all got completely massacred. He's running as fast as they can. Perfect, perfect job there by Jay. And then you go back to work when the danger is passed. Excellent. That range upgrade has finished for the Phoenix. You'll notice they're hitting the Voiders from a little bit farther away now. Lion X has a medevac heading on up. How? Where are you going, medevac? Why? No, 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 no. Are you guys empty? What is happening? Um. Oh, he told his army to go over there and the medevacs are like, Okay. <laughs> there it is, there it is, heading back on home now to join up with actually with the rest of his army. No upgrades here either. Getting another engineering bay, bay though is Jay. He wants his units to be happy and strong. Okay, still has the plus one attack, hasn't really gotten any armor, but he has plans. He has plans. Phoenix versus Void Ray with the Anion Pulse upgrade, plus one attack on these Phoenix here too. Isn't it enough? Not really. Void Ray count still extraordinarily healthy. They definitely outnumber the Phoenix here. Not by much, but they do. Vikings mixed in two here for Jay. That's going to be very, very nice. The Day of the Phoenix might be over, ladies and gentlemen. Might be completely gone. And here we go. Lion X heading down south, but the Void Rays are here. Void Rays are ready to go. I don't know what's going to stop this. I really don't. It might turn into a base race, too. Lion X is way out of position here. Jay is already at the front door. Vikings trying to snipe down the Phoenix from afar. The Void Rays just melting them away. As soon as you get close enough for anything here, and Lion X might as well take down this base if you're just going to stand there. I guess his attention is probably elsewhere to this point, and the Phoenix count is super low. I think it's down to two. Down to two. Everything on the ground gets killed there, too. Jay walks right on up, but at the same time, Lion X walks right on up, too. This is definitely a base race situation. Attack move! 
Lion X attack move. They're finally kind of starting to attack, but not really engaging in it here. And yeah, both bases are getting absolutely massacred. This stalker count looking actually pretty good. Pretty good against these Void Rays. Do they have any upgrades at all? No, no upgrades, but guess what? Stalker's very good against the Void Ray. Oh, are they moving? <sighs> Lion X, do A move. Press A, then right click. Why are... He's, he's focusing on buildings one at a time, so nobody, nobody's actually attacking. All right, that's okay. Move back to this area. The Stalkers are still trying to do stuff here for Willow, but has to pretty much concede the entire base to this small group of Marines and Marauders and Thors running away. These SCVs are not quite far enough to way to make things happen. Getting chased are some of Roy King's probes. Why are they here? I guess they ran from this base when it got destroyed, but depowering most of these buildings, not actually taking down this pylon, which would depower everything here. And continuing to lay waste is Jay. Nobody really seriously challenging him. Lion X going after mining bases, not really worrying about infrastructure to this point. <laughs> How many workers are left? Uh, 29 workers are left for our purple Protoss player. 36 left for red Protoss. Hey, 18. Only 18 for Lion X. Not looking fantastic at all. What is coming here to help? Willow's helping with the base race. Nobody wants to defend at this point. They really do not. Long distance mining here is Roy King, or maybe just going to set up at this base. Nope, long distance mining. From what base, though? Where are they going? They're not. They're not going anywhere now. This base is completely gone. Stalkers and Phoenix taking down stuff. The Phoenix not great at killing buildings, it turns out. And, yep, turning into one huge, huge base race between these players. Both main bases lay pretty much completely ravaged to this point. This army for Lion X might consider coming to help. There it is. There it is. Considering coming to help. But look at this. I think Jay might be a little bit better at the base race than his opponents to this point, but not looking great is his friend, Roy King. Does Roy King have anything left at all? His Void Rays got taken down by those Phoenix. It's a giant probe massacre, though. Yikes, the Thor's very good against buildings, too. Look at them slowly whittling down that Phoenix. This base under attack here, too. The Medivacs haven't really been asked to do much of anything to this point. They are full on energy. Another Nexus ends up falling. Going to be revealed here. I wonder, is Jay already revealed? He might already be revealed. That's okay, Jay does not care. He is laying destructive paths everywhere that he goes. Another mining base here for Lion X is going to be destroyed. Focusing down the starport for reasons unknown. I'm not entirely sure why he would do that. Going after the armory, refinery. Now finally taking down the command center and all of these workers too. So seven SCVs left for Lion X. Not looking fantastic. 13 probes left for Roy Kang. Actually, is there any Willow? Willow has 11 has 11 and Jay has 18. How does he have 18 workers? Where are they? Oh, here they are. Here are they. Both players are actually trying to expand to the same place. That's hilarious. Lion X going to the correct location to see what's going on here. Phoenix come help and they do. This base completely getting annihilated and actually heading back to maybe save stuff. Roy King has rebuilt his base. Where is it? Right there. Just threw down the Nexus at the nick of time there. Stalkers again with no upgrades. Not great against buildings in these numbers, but it's going to be okay. Big attack. Big attack here. Marine with a few Marauders versus that many Thors. Attack move. Attack move. Lion X. Lion X. No. Why are you move moving? Oh, finally turning around, but it might be too late. I don't know if it's enough here. Are there any medevacs? Where are his medevacs? They should be here too, retreating for their lives, using SCVs to try to attack his J. <laughs> Doesn't he have medevacs? Where are the... There they are. Why... Oh, he's coming up to kill this stuff. He didn't know there would be an army in the way. Oh, no. So both players not that great at base racing. There are still a lot of buildings left here. The Phoenix trying to defend against this. But Phoenix, look out. You might just die to these Thors. Wow, taking big shots from those Thors. Yeah, that move move by Lion X was not the greatest thing. He lost a lot of units unnecessarily there. I think if he just attacked moves straight into it, he would have been okay. But instead chose not to do that. Single Stalker taking down these buildings. These buildings are still left for Jay. And flying on in to take out another building here. And under construction barracks. A barracks that is supply blocked. And these SCVs for Jay. A little bit braver. Nope. Not too brave. Going to retreat there. Going to take down the command center. Going to take down the command center. Coming up from behind here is Jay though. Turning around to fight. And is he going to have to stand in here and do it? Yes. The Thor is doing terrible, terrible damage to everybody here. The medevacs healing very well for Jay. This army for Lionx is looking very, very small indeed. And picking up and running away. Can the Thor snipe down the medevacs? They try to do it. Can't quite get there. The ground-to-air DPS not very great against medevacs. 
at all. Where's that uh, javelin missile launcher? It's extra damage versus light, but unfortunately for them, medivacs are not considered light. What are you doing? Why are you flying this way? Lion X, no! Oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> Ow. Ow. I don't even play Terran and that hurt. Ouch. Alright, so uh, Lion X, what you got left here? Three SCVs, a whole bunch of money in the bank, and a sneaky hidden base, and some production facilities that might get killed here in just a second by Jay. Meanwhile, the stalkers are still trying to kill stuff, but considering only two of them are attacking right now, it might take a while. But look at Willow, man. Willow has a full base up running here, has a full base running here. Same thing for Roy King, expanding everywhere. Only has a total of 15 workers, but has three bases, because that will show you. Finally, these bases, or these uh, structures in the main base are getting taken down. Lion X is going to lose a lot of stuff here, including that supply depot, including the engineering bay, including a reactor and another reactor, maybe. Nope, he's going to leave that one to burn down. Which is pretty awesome, actually. Oh, the stalker has managed to attack things. Okay, so this has turned into a super low econ game. Ten workers available for J. Willow has 12. Lion X has 8. Roy King has 21. Roy King is the king. How are these... What the... Is that oh, it's not cloaked. Is somebody trying to build a Nexus? Yes. Okay, I was just trying to build Nexus, but there already was one. That was a weird, weird visual mess up thing there. So I think J might have the best army right now. Looks like he has four Thors. Mm, three Marauders and five Marines with a couple Medivacs overhead with a lot of energy on them. There's enough to kill these Stalkers. Oh, there's Zealots mixed in too, though. That's a very nice addition here for Willow. Lion X defending this base with three total Marines. And yeah, Roy King actually taking down these pylons that are built at a nexus of his own. This is so confusing, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to win this thing? I really don't know. Again, I think Jay has the best army, but this Stalker count is not bad. Really not bad at all, especially with the Zealots to soak up some damage in the front. I think it, they could do a lot. They could do a lot. Roy King's probes trying to run for their lives. Can they get out? Nope. They do manage to get out. Getting chased, though, but they're very fast. Probes are very fast. 3.94 move speed. Zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Jay's just kind of bouncing back and forth, trying to kill buildings where he can find them. Nothing's constructing these because the SCVs building them are gone. But there are two here that could get to work if they wanted to. The Stalker is taking down yet another Nexus here. How many Nexus have been killed so far in this game? A lot. One, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth Nexus to die. I'm going to count six as my unofficial total. Taking down gateways. Probes going after an assimilator. <laughs> and they get it. And they get it. Well done, Roy King. Another attack of Hellions. Lion X moving into Hellion play. What is that? I don't know what that is. Run, Hellions, run. Hellions are not good against anything that's on the ground right now. Jay trying to use this base, but not using all of his SCVs to their full potential. To this point, Hellion... Oh, they actually pinned that probe in there, but they're friends. Lion X and Willow are friends. They are. Stalker Zealots taking down their seventh Nexus of the game. Willow has been slow but steady. Slow but efficient. Lion X has a base here, too, so... Oh, taking out a Nexus here for Willow, and pulling back to a more defensive position here is Jay. He wants this base to live, as it's where he lives. This doesn't really count for some reason, because these SCVs don't want to get to work and actually build those units. Lion X running on in with Hellions to take down a Nexus. Look how long that would take. Look how long that would take. Hours and hours and hours. Stalkers mix on in here, too. Lifting probes a little bit unnecessarily. Roy King is not planning on going anywhere. Nope. Definitely not planning on going anywhere at all. Three Marines for Jay running around. Lion X has his Hellions on move command. Again, not attack moving, which has cost him quite a few battles in my personal personal StarCraft II opinion. Nexus does fall. Kaboosh. An explosion of light. These under construction but not currently being constructed buildings are being taken down too. And that leaves Jay with this. This is all that Jay has. I guess he does have a sneaky barracks over here. This is where Lion X has set up shop, and this is where Willow lives. Actually taking the main base of his Protoss opponent. Not many minerals left. There's some gas, I guess, but he's not really mining from it yet either. <laughs> I really wish I had my units tab right now, but I think Jay has this thing. Widow Mines? I love the Widow Mine play in the low levels. Willow telling his opponent, or his friend rather, telling Lion X to attack this barracks. Which... They're going to go do. They're going to go work together. I still don't think this Hellion 
composition was the way to go, but um, that's okay. That's A-OK. -okay. Mothership Core here for Willow 2. Army still playing defensively. Roy King throwing up a Nexus, his first Nexus. He's being currently revealed, which is not a great feeling at all. Scanning to check for... Oh, does see that probe. Ends up getting killed here. Looking good. Looking good for Willow. I think Willow might just be able to win this thing by himself. Zealots with no upgrades. Not the greatest thing, but pretty good against Marines. Pretty good against Thors, too. Hellions possibly used to burn down the Marines if they stay alive long enough to do so, but it is not looking, not looking great for Team Teal and Purple, as great as that color combination can be. Moving on in is Lion X. Widow Mind Shots! Actually exploding on the Hellions, which is probably the best case scenario for Willow. I would argue. Walk and just... Why? Why, Marines? Why not attack? Move. Widow Mind Shots! Getting a couple shots off here, but the Zealots not in the front. Zealots need to get involved in this battle, and they do. Getting right on top of the Marines, right on top of the Thors. The Stalkers attacking from the backside here, too. Thors are starting to fall very, very quickly indeed. Marine count is completely down to zero. And it looks like Willow has managed to pull it off here. Two Marines from Lion X are assisting this battle. And no, I'm a liar. Jay wins it. How the heck did Jay win that thing? Where did these Marines come from? All right, the Marines. I, I went colorblind for a second there. I, I don't know what happened. The Marines won it. Holy smokes, the Marines won it. Okay, so Jay is at 34 supply. Lion X is at 15 supply. Willow is at tw oh, 22 supply with a few stalkers. <sighs> This is super low econ. So, so low econ to this point. Roy King needs to do more stuff. But not many minerals to do so. And I think if Jay can pull this thing out... Oh, Liberator. Liberator from Lion X. Oh, I like this play a lot. He needs to find an area. No. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Okay. It actually is going to work out. The Marines could have taken down that Liberator if they'd wanted to, but they were so scared of the Defender Mode Circle they didn't. And ready, set, dead. Dead Liberator. Oh, all right. All right. I think maybe he could have positioned up here. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Observers running around. Do they have an upgrade for speed? It looks like they do. 3.94 move speed. Yep. Moving pretty darn quickly indeed there. So worker count. 17. 14. Roy King. 3. And Lion X 12. So nobody really interested in macroing up too heavily to this point. Another base is coming up for Willow, just now getting started. And it's going to go Marine, Marauder, Widow Mine. I would like to see. There's a Starport. Some medevacs in the future. Very, very good for the bio. Being assertive, being aggressive here. Liberator in defense. Marines not looking good. J. J might be able to pull this thing out all by his lonesome. I'm not sure what. Contributions Roy King has made to this point. Widowmine does manage to burrow. Here comes the attack, though, from the high ground. Defense looking good. Looking good. And going to get out of that circle. Getting out of the circle and trying to kill the Liberator. True. And getting out of Defender Mode. Is Lion X getting out? So Sneakily still alive. Hellions again trying to defend in this situation. Not great. Unless you run away from them. Why are you running away? Tank has set up Siege. Trying to take down this supply depot at the, here at the 28 minute mark. And taking out supply depots enough to supply block Lion X. Not quite, not quite yet. Is there anything else going on on the map right now? No, there is not. Any Widow Mines in production for Jay? There are not. He has enough money to do so. Does he have enough gas? Not really. Only one worker on gas. I'd like to see maybe he moves some over there. Oh, going for a reactor. Okay, so it wants to reactor Metabax. And Defender Mode is being used to its full extent right now and doing a pretty darn good job of it. Three Liberators here. No way you're walking through this and staying alive. And he knows it. Jay knows it. He's just going to try to slowly whittle down what he can with the Siege Tank, which is up to two total kills. Now three for the Siege Tank. Ah, Stalker Count for Willow looking fairly scary again, though. After losing that battle, managed to replace the ones that died pretty efficiently. So killing an Assimilator... Which really isn't serving a purpose for Roy King right now. Is Roy King AFK? Where's Roy? No, 100 APM right now. What are they doing? Not making workers, that's for sure. I don't know if maybe he's microing his opponent's stuff. Can you can you do that? Can you share control in 2v2? I've never actually done that before. All right, so pulling way the way back here to defend is Jay. The Widow Mine's excellent. The tank, excellent. The Marauders, excellent against these Stalkers and heading home. 
heading home mining from this single mineral field with 75 remaining minerals it's not really oversaturated there are three probes here i think two would probably get it done but they decide to retreat entirely and harvest at this base which is up and running so willow is technically on two base right now everybody else is on one roy king once again an apm of 100 is i don't know what he's doing though I mean, that's average APM, but current's still 40. I mean, he's not sitting on his hands. Taking out this Nexus, which has pretty much lost all of its usefulness to Willow to this point. So I don't think that Willow cares about it. Any more stalkers on the way, Willow? Production tab says... No. Yes. 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 Production tab does say more stalkers on the high ground. Oh, the harassment, though, by Jay. Oh, the harassment. Run, probes. Run. Run for your lives. Get the heck on out of there. And taking out observers is pretty good. I like that play. And forcing Jay back. So many of these units are low on health. So many. Being aggressive, though. Look at Willow go. Can't you get the siege tank? Yes, getting the siege tank. What a nice, nice pickup indeed. Trying to come up with liberators and set up to Fenimal Circles. Oh, no. Is Jay going to walk through that? Nope. No, going to try to take down that tank, though. And they do. Liberators. Is this a comeback? What are my shots? Oh, taking out two stalkers immediately. Not a great feeling at all, but... Coming on in, Defender Mode Circle will be used in this battle. It is. Defender Mode might be enough. Marauders very low on health. Completely going to be taken down. Jay has rage quit the game. Roy King is defeated. Willow's victorious. Lion X is victorious. And that's it. So Team Easy Peasy are victors today. It did not look good for them. Did not look good for them. That battle, which one? The one here with the Thors and the... And they lost it and I... I thought for sure they were dead, but the Liberator is a bit of a masterstroke from Lion X. Very, very good indeed. The Stalker count for Willow was never super high, but it was enough. No upgrades whatsoever. Get those upgrades. I highly recommend doing that. And an Immortal too. Two Immortals, actually, with three kills on that one. Huh. So well done, Willow. Well done, Lion X. Congratulations on getting your game cast. It was a pretty darn good one. 2v2s can be nice every once in a while. I enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. So this has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can hit me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching and you take care of yourself. And so you must run And it's taken your heart And broken your soul
Into the void 